Hey guys, today we're going to take a uh, old computer, we're going to repurpose it into a file server. We're going to do that using Open Media Vault as our operating system. Um, open Media Vault is a free and open source Debian based operating system. And um, yeah, we're going to do that with this flash drive right here and that old PC right over there. And I think it's going to be pretty easy for us. All right, guys. Well, let's go ahead and begin. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and head on over to the web browser. We're going to go to openmediavault.org. We're going to download Open Media Vault. And after we have that file downloaded, we're also going to go over to uh, this website. We're going to download Belena Etcher. It's etcher.belena.io. And Belena Etcher is a <clears throat> uh, easy to use flasher pretty much. You can flash anything whether it's a CD, flash any ISO image to a disk and that's exactly what we're going to use it for. Come over here, gonna launch Belena Etcher because I've already got it downloaded along with the Open Media Vault ISO file. We're going to take this flash drive, we're going to plug it into our computer going to click flash from file we're going to grab open media vault going to open that up we're going to put it on our flash drive which we can tell is the 16 gigabyte one you want to be careful that you choose the right drive here select that and then we're going to flash it's going to ask for our password <clears throat> and away it goes. It's going to flash the image and it should take a few minutes. Uh, while we're flashing we can go ahead and talk about our capture device and what our PC we're installing Open Media Vault on is going to be. This computer right here is a uh, older PC from a restaurant. It is uh, Intel Core i5 uh, third gen I believe. It's got 8 gigabytes of DDR3 um, it also has a 1650 graphics card that I installed in there along with a 120 gigabyte SSD and a 500 gigabyte HDD. Um, this PC is really not too bad to use as a primary computer but we're going to set it up as a pretty decent open media vault uh, home server. Um, it also has two gigabit NICs on it as well as um, Wi-Fi 6 that I installed on a mini PCIe card that we're probably not going to be using in this video. Uh, with this setup we're also going to be using a capture card so that way you can see the BIOS of the um, old computer. Keep in mind that obviously I'm not installing this on what I'm using to record this with. Uh, my recording PC is hooked up to a USB capture card. And now the etcher is completed flashing, it's going to validate the file and make sure that everything worked properly. When it comes to setting up uh, Open Media Vault, you are going to need a display and a keyboard for the initial installation. But after that, you should be able to run this server headless, meaning no keyboard, no mouse, and you should be able to access everything through the uh, web user interface, the web UI. <clears throat> All right, so Belena Etcher is now complete. We can take our USB flash drive out of the computer. We can go ahead and come on over to our dusty old computer, open it up. And as you can see, where there's some USB ports here, so we're going to plug in our flash drive. We're also going to plug in a keyboard and mouse. And now that those are both plugged in, we can go ahead and turn on this computer here. It might help if we turn on the power supply on it. So we'll turn that on. 
and we'll come on over to our capture card and you can see it's already posting and I think we have to hit F2 to get into this BIOS it's not delete yep it was F2 and in this BIOS it is an Intel visual BIOS very cool technology of the era uh, we can just go ahead and double click and we want to hit Y because we want to boot off of the USB flash drive and now we're in this uh, install menu for Open Media Vault we're going to hit enter install <coughs> And now it's going to load up the Open Media Vault installer. We're going to want to choose English as our language, United States. And away it goes. Alright, so at this point of the installation it's saying that it has found multiple networks or network devices and it's asking which interface we should use during the installation. So we could go ahead and select the first one here. Alright, so now it's asking us for the host name of the system we're gonna go ahead and call this system open media vault demo alright and we're gonna go ahead and click continue and we're just gonna leave that as LAN that should be fine for the domain name uh, a root password we're not even going to set one. The reason why is if you leave this blank, then it will not enable a root account. On the Linux system, I believe it is a little bit more inherently secure to have the root user disabled. Uh, the re-enter the password to verify. Yep, nothing. Full new name for the new user. We're going to call him Zach. And we're going to leave the username as Zach. Choose a password for the new user. This is going to be a very secure password that only you know. And then we're going to re-enter that. Alright, and now it's going to set up the rest of the system. Oh, select your time zone. So we're going to choose uh, mountain time for where I'm at. Uh, more than one storage device detected, okay. And here you can see the three drives available. The 120 gig I know is my SSD. That's where we want to install Open Media Vault. Uh, the following partitions are going to be formatted. Write changes to the disks? Uh, yeah, sounds good. All right, now away it goes. Uh, the goal is to find a mirror of Debian. Okay, so uh, United States. Yep, sounds good. Uh, Deb.debian.org, sounds good. Uh, we don't have any proxies here. We're just going to hit continue. And it's going to scan the mirror. Alright, installation is complete, so it is time to boot into your new system. Make sure to remove the installation media so that you boot into the new system rather than restarting the installation. Sounds good, continue. And at this point we're going to unplug the USB flash drive. There we go. 
And now it should boot into Open Media Vault. We're going to boot into Debian Linux. Remember, Open Media Vault is based off of Debian. All right, let's log in. And then we're just going to type IP address. And now that we're back to our primary desktop, we're back to our web browser on Firefox in this case. We're just going to open up a new tab. And we're going to go to 192.168.1.86. And look at that. It is Open Media Vault. So Okay, here we go. Welcome to Open Media Vault. This is it. The first thing you're going to want to do is come on over to this section and we're going to want to update the system. So we just clicked on the bell for our notification. We clicked on the update notification. We're clicking on the download thing. There's 95 downloads. We're going to click yes. And it's going to uh, upgrade the system. Now this could take a little bit but it is uh, very important to update your server. Alright, and at this point it looks like Open Media Vault has finished updating. So after an update of that size it's good to check mark. Let's apply all of these configuration changes. And at this point, it is telling us that a system reboot is required for our Open Media Vault server. So we'll click on Power, click Reboot, checkbox right here, and click Yes. And the system will reboot now. Oh, I heard it beep. So it sounds like it is posted. So we'll go ahead and log back in now. Now that we have rebooted and updated our system, it was admin and open media vault. And here we go. So this is open media vaults uh, dashboard. It's pretty basic and vanilla out of the box. Um, let's go ahead and go to the settings page. We'll show you a little bit of what we can do. Let's, let's just check all of them. I want to see them all. Save. There we go. So this is a pretty basic little dashboard. It'll give you some basic system statistics, such as your CPU usage by hour, CPU utilization. It might show you the load average, your system memory available, your network interfaces. Like I have uh, two NICs on this computer, as well as a uh, wireless, so they're all available there. You can see our system statistics right here. SSH is the only currently running service on it. But there you go. <clears throat> Alright, and just like that, we've installed a new operating system on this old computer and we've given it a breath of fresh life. And in next week's video, I'll show you guys how to set up network shares and more. Alright, stay tuned. Thank you for watching Linux with Zach. If you liked the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next week.